Okay, we'll now speak with uh, Creighton University. We have head coach Jim Flannery, uh, Brianna Rollerson at the end to my right to your left, and Sydney Lamberty here immediately to my right. Uh, we'll start with an opening uh, statement from coach. Well, this feels a lot like last year at this time where we, I mean, St. John's has ended our, you know, essentially ended our season three of the last four years, um, NCAA tournament, and uh, twice here in the conference tournament by all by one possession. Uh, so, uh, you know, it was, it was a struggle to score today. I th obviously, Sydney had a had I thought really a, a terrific first half and 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 played really well and and uh, Bree kind of kept us in the game a little bit the second half. But we just you know we we struggled to score and 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 the big thing was is um, you know we didn't rebound in the second half. I mean we gave up way too many offensive boards. Uh, we had 20 defensive boards to their 15 offensive boards, and that's, you know, 57 percent, I guess, of, of our on our defensive glass, and we're usually over 70. So um, those extra three, four, five offensive rebounds that they got probably made the difference because, um, you know, we it, it had helped them get to the foul line. So uh, you know, they're. They're tough to score against. Uh, you know what we did defensively was very similar to what we did um, in New York in terms of, of of giving you know lots and lots of help off of Grant and and Hanford, um, and uh, it was effective in a lot of ways. I mean we held Hanford to four or fourteen and Grant to five or sixteen. But like I said, we didn't clean up didn't clean up the glass, and that was uh, that was probably our undoing. All right, Coach, thank you. Uh, we'll take questions now for student athletes. And again, for the benefit of our transcribers who are with us remotely, please identify yourself and your organization. Matt DeMarinas, White and Blue Review. Uh, to the players, I guess, how frustrating is it when you, you know, play out these long possessions, get stops, and then, you know, they come up with the ball and get a put back? I mean, we came into the game knowing we needed to box on rebound and. I guess it's frustrating just knowing that we knew we needed to do that and we didn't. Yeah, I think uh, we thought about rebounding and um, we tried, but I think sometimes we just didn't try hard enough and I think that's what really hurt us. Sydney, you came out, you know, guns blazing in the first half. I guess what was your mindset coming in playing your first, you know, survive an advance game as a freshman? What were you thinking? I mean, I was really nervous at first, but I was also really excited and I guess. I don't know, it's just a cool experience. And Bree, when Sydney's going like that in the first half, I guess, what does that do for your offense when you get that, get one player clicking early against a team that's really hard to score against, like St. John's? Well, I think that really gets, it like motivates all of us and really gets all of us going. Um, it gives us someone to look to and um, someone to play through. Any other questions for the student athletes? John, anything? Ladies, thank you very much. Thank you. you can head out the door to the right. In just a moment, we'll take questions now for Coach Jim Flannery. Did I the song again? Please no. do. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Arenas, White and Blue Review. Um, Coach, I don't know how much of attention you pay to points off turnovers, especially in the second half. It seemed like a big difference for them. I guess how important was it, you know, those those plays where Tortomelo says manufacture points to kind of make the difference? Yeah, they, they were big. I mean, they, you know, they were struggling to score as much as we were. It was, a, you know, it was a – I mean, I, I think we – you know, Matt Fritchie had the scout and he said first to 60 would win or if we get up to 60, he felt like we'd win. And – you know, if we had, we we would have won. So it was; those were big. I mean, uh, you know, you tell your kids that you know the hidden ways to score are, for, you know, transition, a lot of times off turnovers, um, offensive rebounding, which we got beat. Uh, well, we didn't give up about the same in second chance points, but you know, the second half that was a that was a huge issue for us. And then, and then the third. The third area, the hidden points area, is, is free throws, and we got outscored by nine at the foul line. So, um, you know, and that was that was probably the key. But we had, you know, too many too many turnovers. I mean, you look at you look at Sid's line of eight eight assists and no turnovers. Um, the rest of our team only had six assists. And that's 
you know, I, th I thought we were just, you know, n part of it's nerves, part of it's how good St. John's is defensively, but um, we just weren't as solid with the ball. I mean, just in terms of, it's one thing to, it's one thing to have 14 turnovers, but we didn't, we didn't connect passes well enough to get good shots, which is hard against them because of how they defend, but you still got to do it. And then and the third time we play them, I felt like we'd be a little bit better, but, um, but we weren't. And, you know, we had we had opportunities. You know, five seven minutes into that second half, where we you know Riss had a three, a great look at a three that would have put us up ten. Um, and, and, and in a game like this, that would have been huge. But they they fought back, like you said, with some points off turnovers. And um, um, you know, those are those are big. I mean, you uh, you know, we talked. To, I talked about. I mean, one of the things I wrote on the board before the game is, you know. Our, one of our defensive keys was to run good offense because we couldn't afford the turnover and the, and the, and the transition opportunities. So um, that certainly bit us in the second half as well. John? Coach, uh, you got a look, and then you ended up getting just a two-point basket. Your, your thoughts on the final sequence there? <laughs> I don't know if you want my thoughts on the last sequence. We got a great shot. I mean, we, you know, we hadn't, hadn't run that before, but we just – you know, the, the idea was to run a handoff with Marissa and set a flare. Um, Lauren was supposed to set a flare for Sydney, and Marissa couldn't get it on the handoff, so MC came and got it. Um, and we got a, we got a great look by our our kid who had the who had the best game. So uh, you can't you can't complain about that. I mean, certainly the game wasn't lost, won or lost there. It was you know it was lost before that. But you know, we had a Lauren had a wide open three. Um, and Lauren's probably been our best shooter over the last month. She had a wide open three that would have put us up two, I think, um, at about the two minute mark. And um, so we had, you know, we scored enough down the stretch. I felt like in the last few minutes, we were fine on offense. We just, like I said, we didn't finish possessions. We gave them second chance opportunities. Um, so, yeah, but, but yeah, I, you, you can't ask for a better look than the one we got. I know it's tough to focus on right now, but. How bright is your future when when you have some of the talent that you have coming back next year? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I mean, we're we're excited. I mean, you know, I told our team in the locker room. I'm just I'm proud of how far they've come this year and how much a lot of our players have improved over you know from last March to to this March, but also just even from October to now and even January to now. And I think that's that's exciting. I told them, you know, we have we have a group that that comes in every day and and works to get better and and is they're fun to coach because they have that, you know, they have the, uh, they don't feel sorry for themselves when you're, uh, you know, and I've, I haven't coached that kind of team a lot, I don't think, but I just, I just appreciate the fact that they, they come and they try to get better. And you're right, you know, we start, um, we start two sophomores and a freshman and uh, play some freshmen off the bench. Um, so, I mean, to only have one senior and, and one junior who who plays a lot, uh, I, I definitely think that uh, it'll take me a while to get get excited for next year. But we will be we will be think that uh, you know that we'll have a great opportunity to have a a really good slash special year next year, hopefully. Okay, one more for coach. You talked about the things you didn't do in the second half, but as well as you were playing in the first, do you think you kind of missed some opportunities to kind of extend the lead a little bit, even though you don't expect to be up that much against this kind of team? Yeah, it was one of those. I felt like I felt like with with how well Sid played, you know, <laughs> you can you can always look at it two ways. I felt like we one we were lucky Sid played that well because we had a lot of other people who didn't, who were really searching to make plays, you know, positive plays offensively. But on on the flip side. You know, you think, okay, if Marissa and Bree and and Lex had had been a little bit better offensively in the first half, we we maybe are up ten or twelve or fourteen, and you know, so in some ways we didn't capitalize on how good Sid was because we didn't, you know, you know those those three kids who can really who can score it for us, you know, kind of struggled that first half. But again, that's a big part of that is is their defense. But you know, the other the other issue was, uh, you know. Uh, Lex had Lex had three at half, and, and MC and Riss got to the half. Marissa got to the half with two fouls, which was good because MC and Marissa both had two um, fairly early. So that was um, 
I thought I thought that was a, a positive that that we got to the half with only one of those three <laughs> getting to three fouls because I at that you know at the ten minute mark when and I don't can't remember when Lex got her second but MC and and Riss had had two with probably eleven minutes to go and they were able to play out the rest of the half with uh, without getting a third but uh, but you're right I mean it's you know everybody's going to focus on the last couple minutes and and what happened but it's a forty minute game and you know there were certainly possessions that you know. Last year we lost to lost to them in double overtime, and they hit a half court shot uh, at the end of the first half. That's that's three points that <laughs> you're probably not going to get too often. And and you know you know at the end of regulation, if they don't have that, we win by three. So it's 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 a combination of of we weren't quite good enough, and and they were for you know I'm not we'd have been fortunate to win, but I feel like they were fortunate to win too. I mean because they're I think we're very evenly matched teams. Um, and anybody who's seen us play the last couple of years probably would tell you that. But we just we've been on the short end of the stick in the conference tournament, which which hurts. You know, it hurts. Pass one. Thanks, coach. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. I'll give you one. If you, do you want another one? Yeah. Another question? Sure. Yeah. 